On August 7th, it was every Indian's wish and hope that Indian Space Research Organization, or ISRO in short, would script history with its first small satellite launch vehicle, or SSLV, mission from the Sadish Dhawan Space Center in Andhra Pradesh's Sriharikota. But India's brand new small satellite launch vehicle rocket worth about rupees 56 crore ended in a failure. Something went wrong somewhere. Call it a sheer lack of luck or lack of blessings or something providential. The day turned out to be a bad day for ISRO scientists and staff. Now, the launch failure of the small rocket powered by solid fuel puts the focus on the safety of India's human space mission that will be carried out by geosynchronous satellite launch vehicle MK3 or GSLV MK3 with the tricky cryogenic engine stage. Hours after the SSLV D1 was launched with two satellites at about 9.18 a.m. on August 7th, the ISRO said satellites are unusable as they were put into a different orbit that, than the intended one. All the stages performed normally, both the satellites were injected, but the orbit achieved was less than expected, which makes it unstable, ISRO said in a very brief statement about the mission. SSLV D1 placed the satellites into 356 kilometers into 76 kilometers elliptical orbit instead of 356 kilometer circular orbit. Satellites are no longer usable. Issue is reasonably identified, ISRO said. Failure of a logic to identify a sensor failure and go for a salvage action caused the deviation. A committee would analyze and recommend with the implementation of the recommendations, ISRO will come back soon with SSLV D2, the space agency added. The Indian Space Agency is silent on the reasons as to why the satellites are at least uh, the EOS-02 could not be raised to the required orbit by firing its onboard motors. It was after hoping to celebrate in advance the country's 75th anniversary of independence in style that the ISRO launched its freshly minted rocket small satellite launch vehicle developed flight, or in short, SSLV D1. On its first developmental flight, the SSLV D1 carried an Earth Observation Satellite 02, that is EOS 02, formerly known as Microsatellite 2, weighing about 145 kg, and the 8 kg Asadi Sat, built by 750 students of government schools, facilitated by Space Kids India. About 12 minutes into the rocket's flight, ISRO announced the separation of EOS 02. And, and the Asadi sat. Soon after that, the mission control center sank into a heavy silence at the rocket port at Sriharikota. Then came ISRO chairman S. Somanath's announcement. The SSLV D1 mission was completed. All the stages of the rocket performed as expected. There is some data loss in the terminal stage of the rocket, the announcement said. Hopes and euphoria gave way to anxiety and finally desperation. He said that the data is being gathered to know the status of the mission. The Asadi sat got separated. We can know about the satellite only at night. Dr. Srimati Keshan, founder and CEO, Space Kids India, told IANS. At about 9.18 a.m., the rocket broke free of the first launch pad at Sriharikota and went up into a cloudy sky. The rocket's progress was smooth with all its so solid fuel-powered engines performing well. The three-staged SSLV D1 is primarily powered by solid fuel, total 99.2 ton, and also has a velocity trimming module, VTM, powered by 0 0.05 ton of liquid fuel for precise injection of satellites. India's newest rocket was 34 meter tall and weighed 120 ton. As per the flight plan, just over 12 minutes into its flight, the SSLV D1 had to deliver into space the EOS-2 satellite and then the Asadi sat a few seconds later. According to the ISRO, the SSLV is a 
ready to transfer a rocket with modular and unified systems with standard interfaces for production by the industry. The SSLV design drivers are low cost, low turnaround time, flexibility in accommodating multiple satellites, launch on demand feasibility, minimal launch infrastructure requirements, and others, ISRO said. The commercial arm of ISRO, New Space India Limited, plans to transfer the SSLV technology for production in the private sector after a couple of successful missions. The Indian Space Agency said the EOS-02 satellite is an experimental optical managing satellite with high spatial resolution. The objective is to realize and fly an experimental imaging satellite with short turnaround time and showcased launch on demand capability. Launch of small satellites will be a dominant factor in the global space sector with about 7,000 satellites expected to be up in the sky by 2027, BK Saraswat, member Nidhi Aayog had said at a space seminar. In all, about 7,000 small satellites are expected to be launched between 2018 and 2027 with a total value of $38 billion, Saraswat said. I am Casey Ashok from Kaumadi Global signing off. Do give your valuable comments in the comment session below and kindly subscribe our channel for interesting, informative and credible news.